Welcome to this course on machine learning. I am Noor and in today's session we will study what is basically machine learning. So machine learning is a branch of the artificial intelligence that enables the computers, the machines to learn from the data and then make decisions and then make predictions without explicit programming. Now the basic question is that how does the machine learning model works? So there are different steps involved to train any machine learning model. I have defined here uh, some different steps uh, like data collection, like data pre-processing and the other steps. So in the data collection process, we basically gather the data so that we can train the model with these data. And then we will give the input and our model will respond for our inputs. Now it is our first step to gather the data. In the second step, we have to clean the data that we just collected in our first step. So we have to clean the data, we have to organize the data. In the third step, in the model selection step, basically we have to choose the machine learning algorithm uh, so that we can train this algorithm or you can say model. In the fourth step, we have to train this model. Okay, so you collected the data, you clean the data, you choose the uh, required machine learning algorithm and then you have to train the, mo uh, the model with the trained data. Once you train the model, then you have to test and validate the model. Basically, we provide 80% uh, or 70% data to train the model and then we use 20% of the data so that we can check uh, the validation of the model. Now here in this uh, slide you can see we have uh, an example data. Now uh, for example we collected this data. Now in the data you can see we have different columns and uh, uh, from the column ID to the CT these are called the uh, dependent column. Uh, and uh, sorry these are the independent column and the last column the attrition it is the uh, dependent column it's mean that this column depends on all the values of this column now for example we have a user with the age 25 its gender is male salary 5000 and uh, uh, this column show us that this employee will leave uh, the company by attrition, it's mean that whether it will uh, leave the organization or not. No, we have same data for the other uh, users also. Now here you can see that we collected the data, but there are some missing things in the data. For example, for the for this user, we have uh, the age value missing, and for this user, uh, we have experience missing, and for this user with the ID six, uh, we have the salary missing. No, in the second step in the data cleaning and organizing step we have to give some values to these missing fields and also uh, we mostly convert uh, data from one shape to another for example we will convert these yes and no into one and zero no in the next slide i will show you that we have uh, let me show you for the value of the edge now we fill with an average value of 27 and uh, for this value um, we will uh, give a, um, a standard experience uh, we add here 4 and uh, for this value for this missing value uh, for the salary we put here salary, uh, salary 7500 now we are here in the data processing steps so we fill the missing values and here you can see that we convert the values of yes and no into 1 and 0. Now we have done our two steps, right? We collected the data, we process the data, then we select the model, we train the model and then we test and validate the model. So these are the basic steps to train any machine learning model. Now once you do, once you perform all these steps, then the next step is to deploy the machine learning model on any online server or any cloud platform or with or also on your machine and then you can use the machine learning model for your uh, uh, for your needs 
Now basically, uh, there are three uh, types of the machine learning. The supervised learning, the unsupervised learning and the reinforcement learning. So let's be, uh, uh, check a, a, a short introduction to all these uh, three types of the machine learning. Uh, in the supervised learning, basically the model is trained with the label data. It means that it already knows the uh, correct answer. It learns by mapping the input to output based on the example. No, uh, as I explained here that uh, we are using the label data to train the model in the supervised learning. By the label data, we, we means that we give label to each data. Now here we have different fruits and I assign a label to each fruit, right? You can see apple, orange. It is also an orange and it is an apple, it is an orange, okay? Now we have a label data. We will uh, train the machine learning model on this data and then we will provide some test data here uh, and the prediction will occur and it will uh, from this test data it will uh, tell us that uh, the red is the apple and it is the orange okay now in the supervised learning basically we have the complete level data we train the model with the label data now there will coming a question in your minds that we are we are using the supervised learning in machine learning right basically we use for uh, different areas like spam email detection no if you are using gmail sometime if you receive an email for an from an unauthorized user then the gmail will automatically suggest you that it is an unknown type of email so you can block uh, we can use the supervised learning for the fraud detection in the banking system and also we can use the supervised uh, machine learning for the diagnosis of different uh, diseases right now let's we move towards the second type of the machine learning it is the unsupervised learning in the unsupervised learning basically we train the model with the unlabeled data uh, um, in the in, in the supervised you know that we are using the label data but in unsupervised learning we are using the unlabeled data the model works with the unlabeled data and then find patterns or structures on its own it groups or cluster the data based on the similarities so it finds similarities between different objects and then it predicts according to the similarities between uh, objects now here in this picture you can see that we have unlabeled data it is the input raw data we have different types of vegetable but we did not provide any label to any vegetable and there uh, here we have the some interpretation process and then uh, we are using the machine learning model you can say the algorithm and uh, the algorithm will process these uh, unlabeled data and then it will give us the output it will categorize the uh, the vegetables according to their uh, similarities so these uh, three have uh, same similarities and uh, we have these and uh, the uh, third one okay no, from the diagram, uh, we are using basically uh, different uh, images from the vegetables. It is basically an uh, un, uh, unlabeled data. No, we are using uh, these for the uh, customer segmentation like e-commerce sites, group user based on the shopping um, behaviors. For example, you visit an uh, online store, you buy uh, few products. No, next time if you visit the site again they will show you the products according to your habits that you previously buy no they are mostly using the unsupervised learning we can also use uh, the unsupervised learning for the market uh, basket analysis uh, for example in the supermarkets find products often bought together right now the third type of the machine learning is basically the reinforcement learning in the reinforcement learning the model learns by interacting with the environment and getting rewards for good actions and penalties for bad actions so it continuously improves based on the feedback now here in this picture you can see a robot playing a game and this uh, robot will improve its performance through trial and errors here we have humans playing the game with the uh, AI agent, the robot, and these robot performance at the initial level will not very high, but at uh, the time uh, 
uh, once uh, these uh, robots uh, learn from the environment, from the error, from the trials, its performance will improve slowly. So in the reinforcement learning, basically things are learning from the environment. Uh, nowadays we have self-driving cars, so self-driving cars also learning the things from the uh, environment. They are using basically the reinforcement learning. No, the basic thing is that uh, what are the applications of machine learning? No, in the current era, there are lots of applications of the machine learning. We are using the machine learning in the tech and AI. You know that we have ChatGPT, we have DeepSeek, we are using Copilot and other tools for our coding activities. We are using in the finance, in the e-commerce. You know that we have um, self-driving cars. We are using um, in the healthcare industry also uh, for different uh, kind of diseases, diagnosis by scanning the X-ray and MRI and other reports and then the machine learning model trained from these previous reports and then once we provide the new reports to the model like X-ray report and MRI report then it give us the correct uh, disease diagnosis like cancer and fractures and other things. Now in the gaming industry you know that the AI agent defeats the human being. Now they are trained up to this level. Now here we have some real world examples. I already told you that we are using the machine learning in the healthcare and medical for different types of uh, disease diagnosis for new drugs discovery we are using in the Google search we are using in the banking and card ma card management uh, in the tools maintenance you know that we are using the machine learning uh, it uh, uh, tell us in advance uh, that uh, there will come an error in the part of the machine uh, there will uh, come in heat, uh, there will come, a, 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 I mean, some type of uh, error in the machine. So we are using the machine learning algorithms in the maintenance of different devices in different industries. Now, you know that uh, Tesla and Waymo uh, introduced the self-driving cars, so they are using the machine learning models and we also use in the energy consumption optimization uh, like google uh, uh, using in their data center that which part will become um, uh, uh, which part will uh, become i mean uh, we can utilize which part will become more heat so uh, for this kind of things there are lots of other uses of machine learning you know that uh, we have the deep learning uh, it is more advanced concept in the world of AI. So we will study different topics related to machine learning in this series of videos. Uh, uh, subscribe the channel so that I upload more content for you, especially uh, machine uh, related to machine learning and different uh, technology stacks. Uh, thank you for watching the video.